Today we're talking about this Laowa 17mm T1.9 Cine lens that Laowa has just released. Really excited to talk about it, but uh, this isn't even the right setting for a lens review. What am I doing? Hey guys, we are now in the acceptable calm, quiet lens review voice over voice that sounds so calm, chill, and bassy that you know you can trust everything we say. This Laowa 17mm T1.9 MFT is the cine version of the 17mm f2.8 version that was released by Laowa in 2019. This lens is billed by Laowa as their versatile one for daily filming. For this review, I use the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K for all filming for this review video. So let's get into some quick fire specs for this lens before we move on to the footage. This is a 17mm T1.9 to T22 MFT high speed compact lens with 65 degree angle of video on an MFT sensor. It has a 15 centimeter minimum focusing distance, a 49mm filter thread, an industry standard 0.8 mod gears for both stepless aperture control and focus rings. It is quite small, coming in at 56 by 53 millimeters and weighing around 175 grams or 0.39 pounds. It also has seven aperture blades and its lens structure has nine elements and seven groups with one piece of ED glass. All in all, this feels like a typical Laowa lens, very light, but also one built to be durable. All right, now it's time to get on to the footage testing with some beautiful piano music. All right, yeah, let's let's kill that piano music. That was horrible. Try this. All right, let's first talk about its sweet spot. Here, I tested the footage in studio at various distances and T-stops to see what the sharpness level is at key T-stops. Here is the T1.9 at a distance of two feet. Here's the T2.8. Here's the T4. And here's the T22. Here is the T1.9 with the background and focus. Here is the T2.8. Here is the T4. And here is the T22. So from these quick tests, it appears to me that the sweet spot is around T4, which gives you the best sharpness at various degrees of distance. And this gets us into the distortion category. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed while I was focusing on this lens that there's a decent amount of focus breathing that occurs while you focus. Not entirely unexpected for this type of lens or for this price point, so I wouldn't say that this is a reason you shouldn't buy this lens, just an element you should be aware of. Other than that, there really is minimal distortions, and you can see that this shelf does have a little bit of a curve added to it from the lens, but it's very minimal. And it also has no significant vignetting from what I can tell from the footage I've captured. Brings us to flaring. Unfortunately, most of the places I was at while filming with this lens was under very heavy cloud cover, and I didn't really get to test the lens flare out too much with the sun. But from other Laowa lenses similar to this one I've used in the past, I don't think it would look much different from this flare from the 7.5 millimeter Laowa lens. But I did manage to get a couple of interesting flares here on the plane with the moon in the background. I'm kind of assuming that most of that flare has more to do with the window I'm shooting through, but I still wanted to show it. Here in the parking garage, you notice those lights above have a nice look to them. A nice little bit of soft glare from them on the lens. Though if I was doing this again, I might still throw a black mist filter on this in some situations just to soften it up a bit more. For most people with bokeh, they prefer no hard outlines around the out of focus areas. They generally want bokeh to be smooth and blend easily into itself, but ultimately it's all down to personal taste. You do want to generally take a look at the balls of the bokeh <laughs> to see how smooth they are around the edges. So in general, Laowa typically has pretty decent bokeh and a good smooth look to it if that's what you're going for. The only thing I really noticed to be different between the different T-stops is the roundness of the bokeh. At T1.9, the rounder light sources remain completely round and soft, but when you go up to T4, you can start to see more defined edges in the round parts of the bokeh where the aperture blades start to change the shape of the lights. Other than that, pretty smooth in my opinion. Hi. Now, 
Now for image quality. To be honest, I noticed similar Laowa traits with this lens as with the 7.5 millimeter lens I've used for years. It's quite sharp with minimal field curvature and almost no color aberrations. All in all, I was pretty happy with the footage I got um, when I was in Indianapolis during this winter storm and really had nothing super exciting or colorful to film but its sharpness to me really shines in this footage and that's something you should be considering if that's what you want in your footage for your specific project or if you want something a bit softer i got to hit the beat i got to hit the beat beat I gotta so who is this lens for I would say it's probably just like Lau described it. It's a versatile lens for everyday filming. This is a great lens to go on a trip or a hike somewhere and leave it on for the entire time as it's decently wide, but at the same time can perform very well up close with its impressive 15 centimeter focusing distance. It's really kind of almost a lifestyle lens, I would say. But as with most Lawa lenses, this one would be great for those of you in run and gun situations who need to travel lightweight and want smaller lenses but don't want to compromise on image quality. This to me would be great for Lumix users or Blackmagic users who find themselves out in remote locations. But you could also make a case as well that it's a great general B-roll lens. Again, if you're like a travel vlogger, you're filming documentaries or you know, even for FPV drone pilots looking for smaller lens solutions for their setups. I would say that if you're probably in a studio environment, there are other lenses I would suggest over this one, but it would still be fine to work if you absolutely needed to use it for that. Thanks for watching. That's it for this 17 millimeter Lawa review. If you like this video, be sure to check out this awesome video right here. It's the Pocket 4K three year review. I absolutely love this camera, so check it out. It's a great thing about storytelling and all that kind of, it's a fun review. Check it out. See you guys.